Hey and uh, welcome. Um, yeah, I haven't done a video like this for quite some time. Um, this will be the first, oh, well, not the first verse of uh, this channel, but um, it's mm, different house, different recording device. So, <clears throat> you know, ho hopefully the mic quality is a little bit better. Um, might not be perfect and crisply clear because, you know, I've got my, my computer just cranked up so that's so we can sort of hear that noise. But um, <clears throat> anyway, let's get on to it. So, um, going to be playing a game called Odd Squad The Adventure of Odd Body or some shit like that. Um, I was talking about it um, in a Discord and I was like, oh, you know, shit, I should do a video. Um, sort of just to get a bit of a test <clears throat> to sort of like, you know, see how it goes. Because um, <clears throat> I am originally, so I am planning on doing a bit of a Tomb Raider, um, Tomb Raider 1 playthrough. <coughs> Sorry, I'm going to be probably coughing the whole thing. I'm dying. That's good. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so, doing a Tomb Raider, and I thought, this is a quick little, sort, simple game. It's just one of those click sort of adventures. Um, it's from the 90s. I'm not 100% sure. I might have to look into it. I'll probably look at it when I'm posting, and I'll probably put it in the description. Um, <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure it's, uh, it might be only Australian. Um, I got it through, like, my school, my primary school um, at the time. They'd sort of have like these little book fair things, and they would also sort of sell games in that. That's where like I got like Roller Coaster Tycoon. That, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, so um, let's uh, let's get this shit started to a degree. Um, okay, shit. Where did they go? Ah, oh, fuck. It's already fuck. I've recorded like a couple of times, and that's the first time it's done it. What a piece of shit. So I'm using PCM. <clears throat> so it's essentially like a uh, I don't know the correct term. I, it's kind, it's more or less like an emulator of old hardware, but this one's pretty close to like using like your actual computer and that sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> so you do need a bit of a strong CPU. Um, I've had to turn mine down to a Pentium 2, 233 hertz or something like that, just so I'm able to record and because um, you sort of get like sound stuttering and that sort of shit. So um, yeah, um, I love Windows 98. So, <clears throat> that's the operating system I got. Um, I'm sort of a bunch of games, as you can see. So, like, yeah, there, there's a lot. I, I did sort of have this a little bit organised. Still kind of is, but yeah, it's a lot. So, we're going to be playing the Odd Squad Adventure and Odd Bodier. So, there's no real point to it. Um, it's just, as I said, one of these sort of click adventures, interactive sort of things. It was based off... I can't really remember. It's like a distant memory. As you can see, it's a pretty weird art style. What the hell? Yeah, play, my, play, bro. Ah, a human visitor. Welcome to Danger in Odbodia. I am Myron Megabrain, your genius host. Be prepared to journey through the dimensions to a weird and wonderful world, Odbodia, my home. Here is how to navigate. Roll your mouse down to the center bottom of the screen, and a very attractive console will appear. Roll your mouse over the buttons and you will hear what they do. <coughs> oh, and behind me, the Navatron machine, my invention, has the following functions. Start. To start the adventure, of course. Map. To jump to a page in the story. Glow. Mysterious, luminous effects. Game. There are two challenging and brain-busting games to stimulate your cerebellum. Quit. When it's time to go back to your world. <coughs> so, um, yeah, sorry. Welcome, Probably not going to be the best uh, video. But, sorry, I might be coughing and clearing my throat. Anyways, so, um, as I was saying, like, it's distant memory, but I'm pretty sure there used to be, like, you get, like, these little cards, like, in a packet of chips or crisps, you know, whatever country you're from. Um, and, like, they would, um, like, have all these cool, like, weird, wacky designs, kind of very much like the game. Um, <clears throat> I think there was some, like, ones where you could, like, rub, like, rub them, and, um, <clears throat> it would sort of, like, reveal a bit of a picture, like, it was sort of, yeah, like, heat activated, I suppose you could call it. And, um, yeah, I remember, like, trying to find this game, because I always remember having it, but, you know, I lost the disc, you know, who knows how many years ago. Um, it was at least back in the 90s or 
might have even been like very early 2000s, 2000, 2001 or 2002. Don't remember when I got it. <coughs> but yeah, um, so um, I was under the impression it was the art design um, of WizFizz um, that we have over here, which is like sherbet or something. I don't know. I'm not smart. Yeah. Don't let the glasses fool you. Anyway, um, yeah, but because I actually wrote to WizFizz saying, hey, you know, do you know that game that you made? And they're like, we've never made a game. Good luck on your find. I'm like, oh, cool, thanks. And then mm, <clears throat> a couple of years ago, I was actually on YouTube and like, you know, trying to find it because, you know, I'd sort of try to find it came up empty because, you know, I was looking for the wrong thing. And some YouTuber had uploaded and I was like, huh, I think this might be the game. And I clicked on it and, you know, I, I, I shat myself. Um, that's how fucking happy I was when I saw it. And um, I was like, yeah. So anyway, sorry for this being a bit long. Let's uh, get to the game. Yeah. Dylan's fucking dead. What's this? I'm going to have to check it out. What's going on? What's happening? This is really weird. Yeah, it's definitely uh, Australian voice acting. <coughs> oh, where am I? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Myron Megabrain, and you, my friend, are in Oddville, the capital city of Oddbodia. How did I get here? <coughs> oh, let me see. How can I explain this simply? Well, I laid a trap site on the web. You pressed it, and zap. Now you're here. Where is Oddbodia? I've never heard of that before. No, you wouldn't have. For, you see, we exist in an entirely different world. Come. I shall take you on a tour. I must do one thing before we go. <laughs> ah, there. That's much better. You are no longer a human. From now on, you'll be known as... The Mystery Kid. <coughs> yeah, sure, you know, just a big brain guy. Yeah, fucking yeah, I'll jump on a scooter. And so, like, yeah, like, just, like, little cutscenes like that, and then you get to sort of, like, click around and just see, see the little animation, so, yeah. I got a dirty nappy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> and sometimes they have multiple ones. I don't remember them all, because it's been a while since I've played it. I got a dirty nappy. <laughs> <laughs> yep, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Split second. So I go next scene, we just have to get that big brain thing and go woohoo. I have some serious news to report. My good friend and intellectual sparring partner, Doc Fever, has been podnapped by the evil Count Draculard. If we don't rescue him, I'm afraid Draculard will be having his blood for di- Oh, oh is right. And another thing. Doc Fever is the only individual who is capable of programming the computer to return you to your erstwhile departure point. Huh? If, if we don't find the Doc, you may be stuck here. He's the only one who knows how to get you back home. What? Stay calm. Together with my friends whom you are about to meet, we will be able to rescue the Doc. Dracula may be evil, but he doesn't possess even 1% of my brain power. In the meantime, Dill... <laughs> I mean, mystery kid. <laughs> Just 
Holla and enjoy the... Call me Nerdy Neville. I'm Mimi Screamy! Friends, I'd like to introduce you to the Mystery Kid. He's a hum an odd bod who lives on the other side of the freaky forest. I'm glad I have you all here. I have some unfortunate news. Doc Fever has been bodnapped by the sinister <coughs> Draculard. What? You're joking. I never joke. Come on. I have hover scooters at the ready. Doc Fever needs us. Let's go! <coughs> yes, well, um, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh... This was like the coolest shit when I was a kid. Like, it's a bit kind of funny to look back at it now and be like, oh, yeah, cool. But, um, yeah. It is still pretty cool, you know. That, as far as I know, they don't sort of make games like this anymore. Uh, and so, yeah, you know. It was kind of like a bit of an 90s thing, it sort of feels like. Clicked on everything that I can. Oh, hang on. How was that? <laughs> Alright. But, um, yeah, um. Hello, turnip lovers. What the fuck? I don't know what the half the shit is. Wait, is that him? Hello, no. turnip. Shut up. To save time, we'll take a shortcut across Whirlpool Way. Be careful, Odd Squad. The winds are very dangerous. Just make sure you don't get too close to the vortical effects of the winds seem to be destabilizing my scooter! pieces of each one and place them in the right position near their hover scooter you will need the eyes of a hawk the patience of the elephant and the skills of the well-paid vascular microsurgeon to save the odd squad so there's a bit of a gameplay um, aspect to it as you can see so uh, right, so put that there <laughs> roughly I'm guessing Sound effects. <laughs> All right, um, yeah, he goes over here somewhere. Mm, right. oh, I forgot whose heart that is. Pretty sure it's Mimi Screamy or whatever her name is. Yeah, right, right. Oh, jeez, I don't want that. One old mate's arm. Yeah. 
Whew. It's kind of probably a bit tough because you know you don't really get uh, time to sort of. I guess that must be here, yeah, Mammy's. Where's this guy's brain? Is this his, is that his heart or his brain? Hmm. Okay, yeah, it must be old mate. Ah, oh, peanut. Okay, makes sense. Um, <clears throat> and then his hair. Okay, all right. So we'll deal old Brainiac because I can't remember what his name is. Okay, that's his heart. Jesus, didn't know it. Uh, went through his uh his body. His heart was on his chest, essentially. All right, so almost done. Uh, where are you? Oh, yeah, that's right. He wore green little shorts. Do that. Now here comes the easy part. Oh, yeah, probably all that easy heart. So, looks like Dylan's got a brain. I mean, a heart, but you know, you get what I mean. Oh, there we go, we're done. So, a few fuck ups, but you know, not, not the worst. But, um, yeah, okay. Are you strong enough in spirit and mind to play the game again? No, I don't want to play again. Dream borders. Let's get some hover through. What do you mean, hover through? Observe Nerdy Neville. Just go to the hover through, close your eyes, and imagine your favorite burger treat. You will see what happens. Mmm, pus filled burger burger with Brussels sprouts. <coughs> This should be good. Here I go. Ooh, a triple deluxe cheeseburger with special sauce. Ah yes, a concentrated amino burger capsule. Less time for eating, more time for thinking. So that reminded me of um, <clears throat> Dr. Rock, so... Come on, baby! Uh, so, as we can see, there's, you know, Kentucky Fried Poo. Uh, I don't know what it would actually stand for. Kentucky Fried Puss. Kentucky Fried Piece of Shit. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know. Ah... Uh, Yeah, it makes sense, Kentucky Fried People. I probably should have guessed that, but, you know. Alright, yeah, so they just used the sound from that previous robot thing from, like, the very start. Yeah, as you can see, the games are pretty cooked. Does he just not have a sound? Oh. Alright. Alright, 
uh, right, Okay, I think that might be it, no, no. So yeah, there might be ones I miss, um, but you know, it's not the end of the world. I think we're ready to move on. Welcome to the Dream Burgers match game. I am Lardo Von Organ Buster, owner of the Dream Burgers Empire. <laughs> See how many times it takes to match each yummy Dream Burger to its lucky owner. <laughs> Some pairs are a little tricky. Good luck, burger dreamers! Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. It's a memory game. This is gonna be fun. Oh, wait, okay, I got the. I didn't realize I got a match then. The fuck? <laughs> okay, yep. Wait, okay, so that goes to that one. No, that one, sorry. Yeah. At least I feel pretty smart. Hey, you s s hungry? Wanna play again? I'm game back the hey, 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 hey. No, I'm not hungry. Fuck. Here we are, the door of doom. The only way to enter the freaky forest. If I'm right, and I always am, Dracula is holding Doc Fever in Monsterberg Castle, deep in the heart of the freaky forest. Now, before we go in, I need to remind you, Mimi, of the need for the total absence of high volume vocalization. What vocalization? I think you mean you're gonna have to whisper. Oh, I mean, oh. Uh... To those who pass through the door of doom, prepare yourself for a world of gloom. You'll spend forever in a cold, dark cave, if it's Doc Fever you are trying to save. What was that? I... don't know. Are we ready? Mm. Okay. 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 On squad, let us proceed. Yeah, right. Alright. I thought the, I thought the door closed, but obviously not. I think we've sent Dylan home. Either that or he's been miniaturized, digitized, and we've transmitted him into a robot's arm. Robot's armpit, robot's ass, yeah. ass pit. Now this looks like a turd. <laughs> Look at them. If they only knew what was in store, they wouldn't be venturing into the freaky forest. <laughs> What's your plan, Count Dracula? Well, Doc Fever over there looks a tasty treat. 
but I need more than him to satisfy my thirst for blood. You'll never catch them. They're too smart for you. Oh, you think so, do you? We'll see about that, Gusto. You bellowed a large one? Make sure our friends make it to Monsterbeck Castle alive. <laughs> Indeed, sir. Ah, cool. Yeah, it was too much for the uh, game. Yeah, alright. Oh, that's a good thing it's got a level select. Oh, okay. We are now entering the Red Sands, my friends. Be very careful where you step. Stay away from the red quicksand. One false step. What's this? We're sinking! One meter per second. A thousand meters per second. Oh dear. Gusto, do something! Dracula wants him back at the castle, alive! Chill out, Gusto. I'll look after him. Look at that! Alright. Try and grab hold. You okay, guys? Guys! Oh. Guys! That was very... Disturbing. I don't care. I'm just glad to be out of there. Here we are. Monster bag! Shh! Monster bag castle! I've been looking forward to your arrival. Come, join me inside. I'm sure you will enjoy yourself here at my humble home. <laughs> what should we do? Do not fret, Odd Squad. I shall devise a plan when we're inside. Well, that was disturbing. Alright, so... Yeah, that, don't know what was up with that crash, but uh, old shit, what happens? There you go, we've got a different one. I guess that's just two. Alright. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot. Just uh, get onto it, I suppose. Hang on. I thought there used to be one with a trapdoor or something, but I'm remembering wrong. Alright, Count Draculard, we are aware you have Doc Fever. If you really are as friendly as you appear, why can you not simply let him go? All in good time, my brainy little friend. We should try and get to know each other first. Now, who are you? I don't recognize. You? Well... Not now. We can discuss this all at dinner. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must prepare for the feast. The anticipation is driving me batty. Just stay where you are and we'll show you the shortcut to your rooms. Here we go.
God, the amount of times I've heard that chicken sound, it was used in like a lot of games. Um, it's kind of burnt in my head. What the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, righto. Alright. Looks like it's pretty much it. There you go. So yeah, it's probably... A, oh, mate. It's probably a whole heap that I'm missing, but... Eh. Oh, great. Locked in a cell. We have to get out of here. Myron, think of something. I already have my pea-brained pal. Look what I have here in my hand. A disguise op- A disguise op- Yes! What's that? It's similar to a dream burger. All I have to do is pop it into my mouth like so, cogitate upon whom I wish to resemble, <laughs> and presto. That's fantastic! Indeed, but I have to move with some speed. The effects of the disguise pill wear off quickly. <clears throat> oh, pesto, toss me the keys, would you? I seem to have locked myself in. Oh, and go upstairs too. Thusto wants to see you. Hmm. Uh, I... Oh, yeah, yeah, sure thing. Okay, let's move. Neville, mystery kid, you keep watch. Mimi and I will look for Doc Fever. Is anybody in there? Anybody home? It's me, Doc Fever. Myron, is that you? Yes, of course it's me. Wait a moment, I'll let you out. Doc! I'm glad you made it. Dracula wants to suck the blood out of the smartest people in our body. He thinks it will turn him into an evil genius. I was first, and you, my dear boy, are next on the list. What about me? I'm smart. Yes, um, I think you're the dessert. Pesto, you fool. What are you doing here? I didn't ask to see you. Pesto's coming. Let's depart. Hmm, interesting numbers. You know, 1666, six, six, six. oh. Why not? <laughs> Do not be afraid. I am Blarbulon, supreme ruler of the galaxy. In only 20 minutes, I have evolved from a humble dessert to a super intelligent... Pile of shit by the sounds of it. Sound clips being used a fair bit. <laughs> well, they they certainly do give it a good name. Odd. Probably these days, if it was made, it'd be probably called fucking Cooked Bodia. Or, odd, I can't even remember what the name of it is. But, uh, well, that'll do. These are, I'm afraid, the rooms of fear. They contain whatever you fear most. Fear? Fear is scary. S scary isn't good. <laughs> there, there, fair Mimi. Fear is all in the mind. An emotion based on foreboding. You needn't fear that which remains mere supposition. What he's trying to say is, don't worry, everything will be okay. I suggest we split up and go through the different rooms. They might get some of us, but not all. It's our only chance. Yes, this way. At least some of us have a chance to escape. Are we in agreement? Let's go then. And good luck. <laughs> all right, let's go, Marin. Hardly very scary. Intriguing. What does it 
do. It must be a trap. No, that would be too obvious. Mm -hmm. Must turn it on. Can't resist. <laughs> I don't like this. What am I doing in this dark dungeon? The floor feels all spongy and wet. And it smells like bad breath. What's that pointy thing? I don't even know what the fuck that was. <coughs> Dear, darkness, slightly scary. I dread to think what horrors await me in this gloom. I feel stray, unsteady on my feet. Oh. Oh. Okay. Hello? Hey, it's me! There's fears in the mind, so I'm safe. I just won't think about what's on my mind. Anyway, I'm not scared of anything except chickens and clowns. I'm just picturing like the, um, of them like recording all this like voice shit, like Jesus Christ. Come on. Hey, the drawbridge! It's over there! Let's go. Aha! We have found you. Nice try. But no one has ever escaped. Monster by castle. Particularly at dinner time. Now, my friends. It is time to commence the feast. <laughs> We're trapped. <laughs> So I don't know why that guy ran the other way, and I don't know how like the dumbass figured to just throw a stone at the thing to open the door bridge. But sure, okay. Oh my fucking god, cunt. Okay, so back where we were. And as I was going to say before, like, he's got his, like, knife and forks out, yeah? And then, like, he, like, pulls them out again, like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Hey, Fatty, come here, I'll take you on, come here, right here, right here, night, night. <laughs> hey, Fatty, come here, I'll take you on, come here, right here, right here, night, night. Yeah, so as I was saying, I don't know why, like, you know, the, the genius went the other way and the, the dumbass was the one to figure out how to go back in the drawbridge. What? Seize them! I 
Where's Myron? I can't tell him apart from the other human goblin. Look, the is closing. He loves Dracula. <laughs> Greetings, Odd Squad. <laughs> Were you the one who closed the drawbridge? Of course, who else? And just in time, too. If I had waited any longer, the disguise pill would have worn off inside the castle. Luckily, my patented parachutes performed perfectly. The drawbridge is opening! We have to get out of the freaky forest as fast as we can! Oh, back at the door of doom. Oh, oh, we can finally get out of here. Don't tell me. We're trapped inside the freaky forest. Fear not. From inside the freaky forest, the door of doom is called the Rude Foe Mood. Of course. Rude Foe Mood is door of doom backwards. Leave this to me. <clears throat> Ahem. Put socks on your shoes. Brush your teeth before food. Walk backwards, not forwards. Please open, rude for mood. Hurrah! Yay! All right! Okay, let's hover home. Just fucking leave all mate there, fucking man there. <laughs> Uh, I like it. Again. Mystery Kid, I believe it's safe now to tell everyone who you really are. Well, my real name is Dylan Davies and I'm a huh? Yeah. What's that? You're, you're, you're a human. What took you so long to tell us? I know you two. If you knew Dylan was a human, you would have been asking questions all day. Instead of concentrating on the rescue mission, I couldn't afford to take any chances. Now, Doc Fever. Mine says you're the only one who knows how to get me back home. Mm, I believe I can, yes. But are you sure you don't wish to remain in our body? Come on, Dylan, stay with us! <laughs> yeah. Hmm, I don't know. I don't well, know. This is it. Doc Fever has inputted the necessary data. Do you really want to go? I should. I've been gone a whole day. My folks probably have the police out looking for me. No need to worry about that, my friend. You see, a day in odd body and time is worth but a minute in your time. Well then, this is it. Will we ever see each other again? One never knows. Bye, guys. It's been great. Farewell, my friend. Bye, Dylan! Goodbye, Dylan. See ya. <laughs> Okay, so I'm able to click on shit again. Can't really tell. But yeah, okay, bloody yeah. One whole day equals one whole minute. These cunts are like ready for fucking bed, apparently. Um, okay, so we're gonna click. <laughs> Let's say what the hell is that? I think it was a pig. I thought you would have been able to like, click on them, but, um... Oh. Okay, cool. Alright, I think we're almost done. After the crashes and shit. Dylan! Dylan! Are you in there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here, Mum. Why didn't you answer me? Well, it's like this. I've been in Odd Body Art for a day, but really only for a minute. I went with Myron Megabrain and the Odd Squad to rescue Doc Fever from Dracula in Monster Bird Castle. And oh, Dylan, you're spending far too much time on the computer. You really should get out more. Anyway, just make sure you're down in time for dinner. Don't worry, mystery kid. We believe you. Ah, uh, they're all 
famous chestnut. Oh, you're spending too much time on the computer now. Now look where where we are these days. You know, computer fucking everything, man. Look, I know. It's six oh one in the city by the bay, and I want you good listeners to stop your cars, just pull over, and wind down your windows and say to a stranger, "Give me a hug." Yeah, I don't remember the nineties being that friendly. To a degree, yeah, on TV and stuff or not. You're spending far too much time on the computer. Spend not nips at a leaf or a bach near up so she can sneak in the near fruit. Wonder what he was saying. I'll probably edit it just to see what he's saying because it's probably just saying what he said before, but yeah. He's out of there. Alright, I think we're done. There we go, we'll, we'll finish that. Um, Welcome. Oh god, how do I get out of this? Oh god. Oh well, cool. It's, it's finished anyway. So um, yeah, I hope, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it wasn't too boring. Um, it's not a whole lot to sort of talk about. It's just a weird 90s game that I don't think is known very well. As I said, I think it's only, only an Australian game, but like, I don't know too many Australians that would be like, oh yeah, I played that game. Um, because most would have probably been like, well, this is a piece of shit. Um, but, you know, I played all sorts of games um, when I was young. You know, good shit. The ones that gave me brain damage, apparently. But, um, yeah, um, so let's let's get on to uh, getting that clip and uh, reversing it. But before I do, let's, let's go for the whole shutdown thing. Just to complete the sequence. Ugh. But, um, yeah, so uh, let's check out that video friend and intellectual sparring partner, Doc Fever, has been podnapped. 